What's up guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2013, the story of the Blues. Oh uh, yeah, Craig here by the way. Uh, so yeah, w w we're going to continue out the season now. Uh, you saw the last episode, we played two games, two very good performances against Chesterfield in the Capital One Cup and Notts County in the league. 2-1 and 2-0 respectively, very good results, especially the Notts County one. Because I, you know, per personally, I would much rather do do better in the league than in the cup. Although it would always be nice to may maybe get a li little cup run, may maybe get a big team in, in in the second or third round, and just you know, just just yeah, just try and get as far as possible. But I, I never really expect anything from cups if if I'm a team like you know Carlisle or someone like that, because I mean they're in League One. When was the last time a League One team won the FA Cup or, or Capital One Cup or Carling Cup or you know League Cup, whatever? I, I can't remember the last time it happened. I mean, I think if I remember correctly, M Millwall got to the final against Manchester United in the in the cup once, but that was it. And Millwall are in the Championship, so. Amazing, I think Dennis Wise was the Millwall manager. <laughs> Dennis Wise, what a cunt. Uh, anyway, that's um. No, I don't want to sign James B T. Even though I did ask you to compile a scout report, I just, I just ask everyone to scout anyone. I'm not changing your training workload. Yeah, Steve Davis likes me now. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Brilliant. It always happens on FM now. Like on FM13, they actually just get backroom advice to do like previous and upcoming match interactions, which is pretty cool. Also, uh, I will say as well, this is the first episode I'm making playing the full game of Football Manager, because yeah, um, uh, the game came yesterday. And you know I had to go to the Carlisle game yesterday. Well, I didn't have to, but you know, obviously Carlisle, you know, football, your football team obviously comes first all the time. And I would have made an episode, but didn't end up with much time because I was playing a network game with some friends. So, yeah, but finally I've I have got got some time to do this now, and we are going to be playing Crew and Preston, both in the league. Hopefully we can. Oh Christ, Crew are favourites. Andy Wells used to play for Crew. Didn't know that. I knew he used to play for Yorville, but that's about it. Wait a minute, what? Oh! Oh, Andy Wells plays for Crew! Shit, I, for I forgot I sold him to Crew. Uh, <laughs> I oh, wow, I have a terrible memory. I thought it was still here. That's, um. It's a bit stupid. Oh well. Well, crew are indeed slight favourites for this game, so uh, I, I might I might have to play um, a possession game again, just just to try and just keep the ball, try and maybe nick a goal here and there because yeah, crew are obviously a tough side. You know they have just been promoted. Their youth system is fantastic. They have produced some gems in the past. Probably the most recent one is is Nick Powell, who transferred to Man United uh, this season, and I've also got some brilliant ones like um, AJ Leach Smith, Max Clayton, and I know he isn't part of their youth youth thing, but um, also also Matthias Pogba is a great great striker, and. I'm just gonna t team here. Thurwell's obviously injured, so he cannot play in this game. Sticking with the possession one. Um. All right, let's um, let's just let's just go with this this uh, this team selection. I know it's a bit dodgy playing Simek at right back, but but Woodkey does seem to be lacking match fitness. He has been getting quite tired. 
and it is only a few days since the last game. And and Mark Beck up front, th that that will be an interesting one. I say I would like to see how he does, and I think Crew might be a good game to try and test him out. Uh, because Crew, you know, th th as I said, they have they have just come up, so yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I would much rather test my youth players against teams that have just came up rather than the ones like I don't know Sheffield United or. Doncaster or Coventry or things like that. Anyway, we had top of the league after the first game, which is very surprising. I didn't really expect to be top immediately. But yeah, let's, let's play this game. We'll see how we do. Again, match being played in uh, 2D with 3D highlights. If you want me to change, then please let me know. I sincerely hope Andy Wells does not score a goal because that will tick me right off. Let's see. Ten minutes gone, nothing yet. Oh, Sheffield United have scored. We're down to second. Oh, Murphy's got a chance. He's a good looking for. Oh my God, he scored! Well, that was a fantastic strike. But how how did that go in? Let's look at this. What the fuck is Colin doing? Colin was standing behind the line. He was standing behind the line. Wh where, where is the logic in standing behind the line? You're never going to save a shot if you're standing behind the line, are you, you idiot? God, that's... that's the... Wow. Well, to be honest, I think we have to go... I'm going to have to go attacking now. Because we do need a goal. Um, I think we're going to put Paddy Man back in front and centre. Mark Becker hasn't done anything, unfortunately. Danny Kadamarcha can go right wing. Um, and also, Mike Edwards can go in place for Peter Murphy because he is having a poor game. Hopefully, I say hopefully, we can get a goal because this has been a very shocking performance so far. It's not been very good at all. Usual pointless highlight there. Matty Robson. Oh, he's got the ball. Oh, here we go. We can break. Down the wing. Spear. Or Spy. I don't know how to his name. Robson. Great ball. Madden. Oh, Spear. Shoot. What the hell was that, man? Oh, no. Ah, uh, it was a bit of a hard chance, but I, w I would have expected Man to finish that, given how he how he has been playing. Well done, Potts. Go oh, that's just gonna go nowhere. Oh wow, kind of marches done very well there. Robson, don't do anything stupid. Well done. We need to get a goal, get the ball forward. Robson, great ball, Madden, finish it. Yes, Paddy Madden. Great, great finish. Rounded the keeper and just slotted into the corner. Fantastic from Paddy Man there. The very short Irishman. It is very well done there. I don't know what don't, don't know what the keeper was doing really. He didn't seem to go down until after Madden went I went round him. But whatever. I mean, Collins made a mistake. I think I'd say that their keeper's made a mistake now. So, so yeah, you know. And let's see, we have another highlight here, I think. Noble, Barrett, James Barrett, still got the ball, David Mailer. Just keep the ball again, well, very well done. Robson, Spear, Spear, good save, Simek, oh no. We have a corner, we have a corner. Good chance, just just get it whipped in, hopefully Edwards, someone get Madden. Madden's in there. There's no way, no way Panny Man's gonna win a header. Wow, those ball physics looked odd. Wow, what a crap ball. Oh my god. That looked like he was gonna go for a throw in. Let's see, uh, 20 minutes left. I'll see, we're gonna make our last substitution now. What should we do? Um, it's a tough one, really. We don't, don't really know who to bring off now. I'd say I'm gonna bring Chris Chanton on for James Barrett. Maybe just get a little bit of attacking impetus. 
because we, we are now the dominant side. I certainly to hope we do, we don't not get caught on the counter check though. David Miller's took a little bit of a knock, that's annoying. Just considering we did have two players in the last, injured in the last game. Ah, uh, this looks like it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Mail has been booked as well. Dugdale, it's all over. Uh, yep, we should we should have won the game. A uh, bit unlucky, fine, yeah, but we definitely should have won. Oh well, we are third in the league after two games, so that is fine. You know, I think a mid-table top half finish it was the expectation. So any higher than that is fantastic. Um, don't know what I'm doing there. Things I haven't updated yet. Anyway, we'll be playing uh, Preston in the next game. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of an annoying result there. I think, I think starting a Mark Mark back up front might have been a little bit of a bad idea, but. At the same time, a little bit of experience for him, it will never hurt. Preston have lost both their first two games, so that so that, that that could help us. You know, we're on fairly good form, Preston are on bad form. Hopefully we can we can get a win there. We should get a win really. Well I say we should. Preston are the better team. In this game, Preston are certainly the better team than us. However, you know, you, you never really know, do you? It will it will be a tough one. It always is. Let's see. Would he be worth signing, I wonder? Can we even afford him? No, we, we, we can't afford him. I would say it would be an okay signing, even though he's pretty shit in real life, but... Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he plays for Ipswich, so that's that's obviously one bad thing. Uh, let's see, Coventry signed Boateng. Coventry signed Boateng. Which Boateng is that? Oh my God, that's George Boateng in it. Actually, fantastic. That that is funny as hell. Coventry signed George Bort. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, stop! It's too much. Oh, that's, that's great. That is brilliant. That is actually too good. Wow, that that is brilliant. <laughs> George Boateng. Wow, what an absolute hero he is. <sighs> Just saving the game here. Yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a decent start to the season, I would say. One win, one draw. We we are unbeaten. Two games. That's always always good. And we are the favourites here. And yes, yeah, Stuart Bevan is obviously the danger man. He's a quality striker for this level. Uh, win loss lot. So they won the cup game, but they but they lost both of the. Uh, league games and Miller is back now so that should be good for us I really don't want to praise him but if Kavanagh says I should then I will <laughs> he is just a bloody horrible manager well when I say he's a horrible manager he's a horrible footballing manager he gets his team playing hoofball and, he, and the team and the team that he manages dives they cheat, they hack, they do everything bad. Every team they manage is a really scummy. You know, Stevenage wasn't actually as bad as Preston, I don't think. But they were doing the, the same same thing as Stevenage did, really. So, yeah, I really don't like Wesley as a manager, but... Man United have beaten Reading 4-2. Van Persie and Rooney, wow. Uh, Preston haven't scored a goal yet in the league. Christ, well, it's interesting. 
let's see, should we go with possession or attacking? I think I, I think we'd actually do better with attacking in the last game, didn't we? Because what once we to attacking, the, you know, the the team did look a bit better. So, um, let's see. Yeah, M Miller is in no state to play just yet, even though he has resumed full training. Let's see. Colin Murphy, Potspear, Mailer, Woodkey, Noble, Barrett, Robson, McGovern, Madden. Uh, I'm going to take Liam Noble out of the team because I think he's been a bit disappointing. I think Chandler does need to start some games. Chandler hasn't been on the best of form either, but he has come off. Sorry, he has come off the bench as a substitute most of the time, so I don't think it's very, very fair to judge him on that. So we are going to play that lineup, and hopefully, we can get a win against Frederick Picky on shit in hell. <laughs> That they have Frederick Pickion, and they're not even playing Stuart Bevan. They're playing Frederick Pickion over Stuart Bevan. Holy shit! That 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 is a bad move. That is a terrible move. Brad Potts looked delighted. Hopefully that reflects in his performance. We are back at home now, anyway, so I think that will, will help our performance. I certainly hope it does. Chandler's got a free kick. Whips it dear. Stockman catches it easily. Because Stuckman has the intelligence to not stand behind the line when defend when trying to save a free kick. McGovern now just oh yes, okay, just fine. Yep. Well played lads. Chandler. Barrett. Barrett good what a strike by James Barrett. Fantastic goal there. And the players just seem to run at Stuckman like 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 saying hey lol I suck Stuckman's just stuck in the middle of Carl all, all the Carl players. But what what a strike from James Barrett here. Chandler gives it to Barrett, he runs inside, jinx past the player and smashes it into the net. Stuckman nearly got there, but he didn't really have much of a chance in the end. And the team is all looking composed and normal. Oh no, the anxiousness is back. That's true. Uh Oh, you will beat Notts County 2-0, it's interesting. Kevin Lisby has scored for Leighton Orient. Dean Furman scored for Oldham. David Cotterill, Christ almighty. Barrett's good head. Very good head, McGovern. Madding, play it through to Chandler. No, wrong ball, wrong ball. Okay, still, we have the ball. It's okay. Matty Robson, get it whipped in. McGovern has to score. He does. McGovern, 2 0 in the 28th minute of the game against our rivals. Preston's game plan is indeed being completely undone. Very good performance from the team here. I don't want to jinx anything, but you, you know, I, I will try and remain calm. But I'm very happy so far because you know, I don't know why. Every time I play on fun manager, whenever I get excited, oh dear! Oh, they've hit the bar. Huntington, oh, good save from Colin. Get it out, well in, Spear. Wow, that was a close one. <sighs> hit the bar with the free kick there. And Colin seemed to move, just run away from the goal there, just instead of trying to actually get a touch in it. Oh Jesus! Yeah, if Kane had scored there, I may I may have had a fit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's see. I don't think we need to make any substitutions just yet. Should we switch to counter? I think we will switch to counter attacking just to try and hold our lead here. Yeah, Robson and McGovern will make forward runs now and that tends to work. Here we go, Murphy, good football, just just keep just keep it. There's no need to rush now. We are two 0 up. Preston needs to go three goals to beat us. I think that is the way to look at this right now. They need to go three goals to beat us. Very good football again, just pass it back to Mailer. Miller with a strike, good save from Stuckman. And no FM, he did not turn the ball behind. He just pushed it back out. Spare, what are you doing? Okay, good ball. Come on, yes, yes. Oh, Spare's offside, damn. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, we are in control of this match. Evan Hall with the right, the left back has scored for Hartlepool. And George Boateng has scored for Coventry. What a signing from Coventry there. <laughs> oh, God. 
both key to McGovern. Break down the wing. Take on Laird. It's got, oh, no, McGovern. No, McGovern. Oh, McGovern's, uh, McGovern's tripped Laird. And he's, and he's handed Preston the chance now to try and get a goal back. I really hope that this does not come to anything. Holmes whips it in. Oh, Rose there. Colin, very good. And break away. Break away. Madden, run. McGovern, bomb forward. Oh, McGovern stops. Madden's on his own. Can he finish? Can he finish? Good save by Stuckman. McGovern really should have been bombing forward there, but he was strolling. And man did not have support. Oh, it's gone out. Chandler. Good effort to get back in. Well in Potts. Oh, it's broken to Nicky Rowe. <sighs> uh, well, we still have the lead. And, you know, we, st we still have a clean sheet on our hands. Uh, I think we're going to make a few subs now. Uh, Salah in Spay can go. Uh, yeah, uh, hang on a minute. So we're just going to in, into advanced tactics here. Wait a minute, pause, pause, pause. Go into advanced tactics. No, so where the hell is this? Advanced tactics. Just make sure we get this right. Spear can move to um, there, and Chandler can play left wing back, and we'll bring Liam Noble on for him. Um, I think. What else can we do? Peter Murphy play defensive midfield. And we'll put Mike Edwards in at the back. And for now, I think that will do. Will it? Will it? Will it? Actually, no. We'll give David Semington a chance at a right, uh, right wing. Because he's another one of the young players. He needs a bit, a bit of game time. Hopefully, he can do well for himself while he is on the pitch. And Stockman has a goal kick here. Whips it up. Well done, lads. You still have the ball. Brad Potts, oh, just a bit of a hoof there. Not really impressed with that. Well in, Paddy. Very well in, Paddy. Semington, where are you going? Run, run the other, <laughs> run the other way, Semington. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, Robson. R Robson, just, just pass it back if you need. Don't. Wi oh, Robson's lost the ball, and Preston do have a chance to get on the attack here. Jack King, I think that is. Lee, Lee Holmes, oh, go on Potts, just defend this, defend this, defend, defend, defend. I think I think that might be working out. Oh God, Lee Holmes has completely done it. Oh, he's hit the post, and they've scored. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow, that that is pretty shit. Let's look at this. Yeah, he, he just runs completely past. Oh, it, it was Wookie in the end. And Potts couldn't do anything, and they're just smashing it to the bottom corner. <sighs> well, we are in a bit of an edgy situation here. I certainly hope they don't score again. Jack King with a poor clearance. Oh, God, they're going to get the ball here. They, ha they have a chance to break. Please, Murphy, get into them. Oh, Monacana is too fast for our defence, and he? he's very fast in real life. Brad Potts, very well done. Just get it away. Get it away. Robson, please win that header. He has done. Madden has a chance. Noble out, spray out to the right wing. Okay, fine. We still have the ball. Chandler. Liam Noble's got a chance here. Oh no, let's head us away. James Barrett now though. Very well picked up. Tim Woodkey. Whip it in. Whip it in. Well, well, Robson. Yes. Oh, for some reason I thought he was offside then because the thing just popped up in the in the in the corner, but. Great ball in from Mucky and Robson just breaks away from his man at the back post. Very poor defending from uh, Keith Keane there, but still very good finish from Matty Robson, and that should be uh, that should be uh, that that should be the story. It should be curtains for Preston North End. I think it will be. Walsall have equalised against Colchester. Amazing. And Carlisle have won 3 1 against Preston North End. Fantastic results against our rivals. I'm sure the fans will be happy with this one. And we are back at the top of the table. Well, th that is really superb, lads. Uh, se 17 shots to Preston's 11, 9 targets to Preston's 4. We definitely did deserve the win. Even possession stats, but you know, we weren't playing a possession game, so it was fine. 
Sheffield United and Portsmouth of all teams are or are on the same points as we are and Preston are still second bottom although Preston did score their, f their first goal of the season against us which <laughs> is a bit disappointing but eh. Man United leading race for Premier Division title well they are Man United what the hell do you expect oh, well still oh, Josh, Josh Todd's been playing poorly again for the game said that is disappointing Simington has made his professional debut good on the lad he's got good potential it's it's nice to see him get a game let's see now um, I'd say we're just about done with this episode because we have played two matches uh, so yeah guys th th this is about it um, next next episode will be Hartlepool sorry Bolton, Bolton and Hartlepool Bolton obviously a very very tough game championship side just been relegated should be a very interesting game there Hopefully we can nab something, but you know, I I, I will just try and be pessimistic. Uh, and obviously Hartlepool, another rival team in the league, should be an interesting one. The games against Hartlepool and us usually are very interesting. So yeah, that's that's this, that's by this episode, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, then please like, uh, subscribe, comment anything favorite and yeah please stay tuned for the next episode guys okay uh, thanks a lot i'll see you in the next episode bye